She was one of the best female boxers in the world. Mia St. John won title after title. But even after multiple wins came her greatest loss, the death of her son, and then later the death of her ex-husband, soap opera star Christophe St. John. Well, Mia has a brand new memoir out called Fighting for My Life, and I sat down with her on a Zoom call to find out more about how she's helping others through one of life's greatest upsets. In the ring, she's unstoppable. Mia St. John, a five-time world boxing champion, also a champion in Taekwondo. Outside of the ring, though, her life was taking blow after blow, and now she has a brand new book called Fighting for My Life. Mia, take me back, though. What inspired you to become a boxer? It started long ago. I was six years old, and my dad put me in Taekwondo because that was the era of Bruce Lee, and you know, but I didn't actually want to turn pro until I saw the movie Rocky back in the late 70s. And so I turned pro and instead of opening for Tyson, I opened for Oscar De La Hoya. Your book called Fighting for My Life details the heartbreaking loss of your 24-year-old son, Julian, to suicide. Take me back through his story. When did you first realize that he was struggling? We really saw a difference when he was around 15, 16 years old, he started hearing voices. And, and I noticed that because he would be talking in his room to people who I knew weren't there. He would end up going off of his meds, going out in the streets, getting, um, becoming psychotic. He got addicted to meth. What is your message to other parents through all of this? What do people need to know? The first thing I want to tell parents is to educate yourself. Get educated, know the signs, know when to get help, know where to get help, and there's help out there. Mia, you lost your son, then you ended up losing your ex-husband, and sadly your sobriety in all of this too. Was there a moment where you realized, this has to stop, you have to hit the brakes immediately? I was put on a on a psychiatric hold and I was held against my will and I, and I just think you know thank the heavens above every day that 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 happened to me because I realized that I had so much to still be grateful for. Where's your source of strength from now? Where do you find hope? I have a purpose in this life. I have a mission to accomplish and and that mission is 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 the reason I was born. It was not to kick the crap out of another human being, to win another title, another belt, um, another paycheck, but it was to help others. It was to raise awareness, mental health awareness. And, and that is what I realized that I was born to do. Well, if you would like to read her book again, it's called Fighting for My Life. It's uh, for sale anywhere books are sold. Complicated, deep story, but a lot of lessons there. Yeah, a lot of wins and mm -hmm. a lot of heavy losses, too, for her. So, and she's able to tell her story. And it's, it wasn't easy, not an easy path at all. Not at all. I'm glad she's sharing it, though.